Some of the things are, for example, when we had uh, tumors that were uh, very close to the uh, brainstem and we wanted to treat them with a uh, hypofractionated approach. Uh, we were using the uh, linear accelerator uh, and using VMAT, but the dose falloff uh, with the VMAT is, uh, is not, not the same uh, as uh, what we would see with, uh, with an ICON system. Uh, so now it's allowed us to escalate the dose given the sharp dose fall off and proximity to the, to the brainstem. It's allowed us to, uh, to escalate the dose in some of these uh, targets that are very close to the brainstem. That uh, it was treated before, but uh, I would say there may have been some compromises to the dose that we would have delivered uh, with, uh, uh, with VMAT, IMRT, or if it was uh, with a cone-based uh, treatment. Um, other differences, I would say, between uh, the ICON and, and the linear accelerator and things that we weren't able to um, treat before well, I would say, uh, includes having multiple brain metastases. Uh, the dosimetry is not the same. Uh, there is higher low dose splash uh, with, um, with linear accelerator-based approaches as compared to uh, single fraction radiosurgery.